Does Louisiana right now have essentially money flowing in the streets? There's so much extra money going around and the legislature's talking about a lot of it and what to do with it. Well, the man who really knows the answers to that, Jay Darden, Commissioner of Administration here. Jay, great to see you. And there's been a recent revenue estimate. So where does that stand? Well, it's not flowing uh, through the streets, but we'd like to use it for the streets. And Good, one of, yes. our, one of our big recommendations, of, of course, because we're going to, we want to use this money as one-time money, not to build the budget. There are going to be some things that will be recurring expenses that the governor's proposed, like a teacher pay raise and like early childhood education, which is, we think, critical for the future. But basically, we want to take what has been identified as recurring money and not simply grow the budget, but use it on one-time expenses. And that's what I'm hoping at the end of the day, that's what the legislature will agree to do. Now, part of the legislature kind of like said no to some of those notions. And then Parr came up with a commentary saying, let's reset that. Let's look at it because, especially early childhood, we're always talking about we must invest in that. And to not, it seems like a real wrong term. At a time when we have this unprecedented yeah. largesse, we ought to take some of that and invest in the things that people have been talking about for years, and that's early childhood education. Right. Uh, the, the bill that came over from the House did not do that. It sought to pay down additional payments on the unfunded accrued liability, uh, what, what's called the initial unfunded accrued liability. We're on a glide path to get that paid off by 2029. Anyway, so we, right? Anyway, no okay. matter what. Okay. There'll be a reamortization next year that's going to lower the payments no matter what. So. Our thinking is, normally you'd say, let's pay down debt, it's a good thing, but in your in your home, if you've got a home mortgage and the roof is leaking and you've got some extra money, you don't make an extra mortgage payment, you fix right. the roof. And that's right. kind of what our attitude is right now. We have some things that need to be fixed in Louisiana. Our roads, our highways, our bridges, uh, investing in education, uh, taking care of some deferred maintenance needs on college campuses, making investments in early childhood and higher ed to an extent that has not been done before. Right. And we all talk about education being the key to the future, which I wholeheartedly agree with. Let's invest in this it. This is that one-time opportunity it we've is. said over and over. It is. To make this happen, to put that investment in. What's your gut thought about what will ultimately I, be voted in the legislature. Well, I think at the end of the day, we're going to reach an agreement. The, the bill has left the House. It's pending in the Senate right now. There are multiple bills that bear on this issue because we have to spend the money that's excess in the current year before June 30th. We have to spend the additional money we've recognized for next year's budget that begins July 1. And we have a capital outlay bill that's going to spend some cash, too. So you've got a, multiple bills at play. That's why I say it's yeah. uh, it's really a, a, a lot of moving parts. Tell, tell me the numbers again, if you can, what we have, what's available, and when things have to be spent by the, the well, amount. It, it's hard to pinpoint a number because the budget's already been spent on some things. Yes. And there are other things that are pending. But just as an example, in the revenue estimating conference that recently met, we increased the forecast in both the current year and next year by multiple hundreds of millions of dollars that <laughs> was not on the table before? before then. No, we've, we've gone from, as you know, the beginning of the Edwards Day, yeah. uh, eight, a $2 billion deficit, yeah, and now right. all of a sudden we have a significant surplus. But it's because we budgeted conservatively, we've had more money come in than estimated, and the economy has been doing very well. Unemployment's at an all-time low. And the COVID money, of course. And the COVID money helped, but, but it's, that we're no longer, be, it's gone. Right, we're no longer right. dependent upon that to, to, to fund the budget. So yeah, it, it helped the economy click along during the time of COVID, but we don't have any federal money on which we're relying for recurring expenses anymore. Jay, one thing that happens when you have a lot of money, all of a sudden a lot of people, they seem to get more greedy and want their hands in it. How can you get people to step back and say, let's look for the good of everyone? Well, there are a lot more hands out because people know that there's money there and, and the legislature with, with the governor as well, have to prioritize what's most important for the people of the state right. and enact a budget that satisfies those those critical needs. And that's what the debate's about. Differing legislators have differing views of what the priorities are. Uh, so there's some questions about, obviously, how to spend the money. And there, there's this overarching, overarching question of the expenditure limit and should we exceed the expenditure limit, which was enacted many, many years ago when no one envisioned a surplus like this. So is there a worry about that or maybe well, not? It, it, I, there's a worry about it because we're coming down to the last days of the session and you've 
you've had the House go in one direction and the Senate clearly saying it wants to go in a different direction, together. meaning there has to be an agreement at the yeah. end. And I think it'll it'll take us probably to the very okay. end, ending closing days of the session to get it resolved. But I hope and I think that we will have a resolution that's going to be satisfactory and, and, and the legislature is going to agree to. Yeah. And we're not going to have to come back in a special session, it's which a, would be disastrous. It's important for Louisiana. Jay, thanks it so is. much for thank being you, here. Thank you for all your work at LPB. Yeah, we'll miss sure. you. Thank you.